Hey everybody. So boy, do we have a trade to talk about today that happened yesterday. Um, Justin Falk, whose name has been talked about a lot in trade rumors from the Carolina Hurricanes, has finally been moved and to a team where that, quite frankly, I don't think a lot of ex people expected to be the trade partner with Carolina for this deal, the St. Louis Blues. So the full deal that happened yesterday the St. Louis Blues acquired Justin Falk in a 2020 fifth round draft pick from Carolina in exchange for Joel Edmondson, Dominic Bach, and a 2021 seventh round draft pick from St. Louis. So the roster players that switch are Edmondson goes to Carolina, Falk goes to uh, St. Louis. Carolina gets a prospect out of the deal in Dominic Bach, and they swap draft picks. So like I said, Justin Falk trade rumors have been going around for really the better part of two years now. Um, Carolina kind of had a crowded back end. Uh, there was always talks about them moving at least one of those right shot defensemen that they have. And Falk was always kind of the name at the top of the list. The, the one that Carolina wanted to move up the most was Justin Falk. Um, He's a little bit older than a lot of their other defensemen, and um, you know he he was always seemed to be the name that came up. They just needed to wait and find the right deal and the right trade partner. And finally, after a lot of rumors and a lot of talking to teams, they did that. They found the part their partner in St. Louis, and they found the right deal for them. So for St. Louis, they get Justin Falk, who is a very very good right shot defenseman. Um, and, and I, you know, it's interesting because St. Louis had a really good defense already, as did Carolina. Both of these teams already had really good defense cores. And, and, you know, I kind of thought that Falk would end up going somewhere where, that really, you know, needed him, that, you know, he was going to be a drastic improvement. But Falk in St. Louis just kind of slides right in there. Probably a second pair guy in, with the Blues, um, not a whole lot of pressure on him, but uh, just like a really solid move and a really solid defenseman who I think can play, you know, pretty darn well. Um, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, he's kind of that, he's a solid two-way player. He can give you a decent amount of offense. Um, he's definitely a more of an offensive point producer than Joel Edmondson, who now goes the other way. Um he is older than Edmondson as well, uh, more of a veteran guy, but although he's not, you know, old by any stretch of the imagination, he has been in the league for a while, but he's not old. Um, it's just, it's an interesting deal to me. Like, I don't, I don't know, you know, this isn't a move that St. Louis had to make. Like, they didn't have to go out and do this. You know, a team like Winnipeg, if they added Justin Falk, that's like, all right, that they had to do that because of the situation their defense is in. Or if a team like Calgary added Justin Falk, it's like, okay, that's they needed to add a top four guy. That that's not really the not the case with St. Louis. They didn't have to make this deal, but I think he's just gonna step in and give them a little bit more offense from the back end than what they had last season, a little bit more of a of an off or an explosive producing type player. Um, certainly than Joel Edmondson, who's much more of your big physical defensive defenseman type. And for Carolina, I mean, they've they've got the all these right shot D, a lot of them really young, you know, Slavin, Pesci. Uh, I know I'm forgetting names off the top of my head, but they've got young, really good defensemen. And Falk was kind of always the guy that they were looking to move. And now they bring in Joel Edmondson, who probably not going to bring the offense that Justin Falk did. But he's going to bring that element of, of size, physicality, uh, toughness, and, and just more defensive zone uh, focus than what... I, and really, I think Carolina needs that. Because when you look at Carolina's defense, you know, it, there, it is a lot of not... I wouldn't say offensive defensemen, but it is a lot of those, those type of D-men who aren't who are more two-way players or offensive players who give you points, but then it sometimes have issues in their own end. And uh, Edmondson's a guy who's going to focus on defense first. 
he's a he's a big kid he's a physical player he's he's got good size and he's not afraid to use it he can drop the gloves if he needs to and that's something an element of toughness and grit that Carolina doesn't have a whole lot of so I think that will really help them there because you know they had Michael Furland last year and he did his job there very very well but uh, they lost Michael Furland in the offseason to free agency. He's off in Vancouver now, and they don't really have a, anyone else like that. So bringing in Edmonton, now Edmonton certainly doesn't fight as much as Michael Furland. He's not, you know, that tough of a player, but he's he's got plays with a little bit of an edge. He's got good size, and he's willing to drop the gloves two or three times a year, maybe four times a year. And and he's going to have to do that in Carolina because they don't really have many other players that do that. So so Carolina, you know, kind of gets that defensive-minded defenseman in. Young, really solid player. They get a prospect out of the deal. Dominic Bach, I believe, was a late first-round pick um, a couple years ago. So a pretty decent prospect out of the deal. Um, and, and St. Louis gets the more better overall defenseman the more offensive minded defenseman and the someone who's probably going to produce a little bit more than Joel Edmondson is so I can really see it working out for both teams and I think it's a good trade and uh Justin Falk finally Carolina was able to move so with that like comment share subscribe follow on social media all those links are down in the description below if you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.